Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Come learn about an incredible apprenticeship program in medical assisting on Monday, February 14th during sixth period. This nursing apprenticeship program is run by Providence Medical Group and it is a free educational program offered to a select group of students. If you'd like to go into nursing, you don't want to miss this opportunity. You can sign up through your Naviance. Go to the College tab and view College Visits. Register now. Again, the event is Monday, February 14th during sixth period. Seniors, be sure to check your student Gmail on February 14th. A love note from the College and Career Readiness Center will be emailed to you and your parent or guardian regarding graduation completion. Novel Writing Club is hosting a short story contest. The deadline is on February 14th, and the guidelines for entry can be found through the QR code located on posters throughout the school. Top placing contestants will receive prizes from the local businesses, including Danger Room Comics, Browse with Books, and Olyphant Art Supply. There's no prompt, so we look forward to seeing what creative ideas you come up with. The Together Classroom is holding a Books, Puzzles, and Board Games drive for the Community Resource Center beginning Monday, February 14th, Friday, February 18th. Donations can be dropped off in the Resource Center, Room 106, or coordinated with Miss McLean for pickup. Any new or gently used items would be greatly appreciated. Olympia Bears brought home the second place in the state trophy. Individual honors went to Sawyer Jones, 719 pins, who scored the eighth best total in the tournament, and Brooke Johnson, whose 728 pins were the sixth best overall. During the tournament, coaches and other teams nominate players' sportsmanships awards, and they can nominate literally anyone in the tournament. Players, coaches, parents, fans, or even staff members. However, in the first for the WIAA, a coach nominated the entire Olympia Bears team. According to the nomination form, the Olympia team, from its players to its fans to its coaches, and the embodiment of the sportsmanship, and they all de deserve to be recognized. Go Bears! The Bears swim team had an incredible districts meet, finishing second place in the district championship meet, the highest team finish in 21 years. The team was led by the three relays, which all finished in the top three and are going to be competing in the state championship in two weeks. Tony Ponomarev also had two individual first places in the 200 IM and the 100 backstroke. He will swim those two events in the hunt for two state championships. Lucas Eusen also qualified for state as an individual in the 100 butterfly. Other top eight finishers included Graham Christensen in the 200 free, Dylan Dang in the 100 butterfly, and Scott Herman in the 100 breaststroke. It was an incredible team effort with 16 individuals qualifying and 15 earning points on day two. Hey Jack. What's up, Alan? Do you know what day it is Monday? No, what day is it? It's actually Valentine's Day and the student store is excited to announce golden tickets and cookie bags. Uh, find one of these in your cookie bags and you can redeem one free cookie. Not only the free cookies, but personalized bags that come with every single cookie purchase in store. Let's go. Come get it. It's time for... Joke of the Week! Hey Claudia! Hey Willa! Why do you tell actors to break a leg? Why? Because every play needs a cast. Oh. <laughs> Happy birthday to Tawny Daniels-Brown, Chloe Grimmer, Ava Hoy, and Kayla Pearson. Go Bears!